Hello and welcome. I want to talk to you today about your most precious, beautiful, amazing mind that you have. I was in um, an abusive relationship for many, many years. But one thing I can categorically say is however much stuff happened to me from the outside, however much I was abused from there, the thing that abused me the most was my own mind. The thing that affected me the most, the thing that affected my life the most, the thing that affected my behaviour the most was my own mind. What my own mind made up this, me what this meant and how abusive I was to myself inside my own mind. So our minds are such a beautiful asset. They are an amazing gift to us. But if we don't learn about them, if we don't spend time learning to understand and love them and guide them like we would our children, then they turn out to be our very worst enemies. They turn out to be the things that get us into the most trouble and hurt us the most. So if you find yourself in some situation like that, and I talk to people every day who are in this situation where their own mind is really hurting them, if you find yourself in that situation and you are ready to change, you are in the right place. And the starting point, the first thing is becoming aware, just noticing what your inner conversations are, what is going on in your own mind. Because very often we just kind of skip over this and, and we, we believe that all our upset, all our pain is coming from the outside. But taking the time to notice your own in, inner conversation, to become aware of it, is a really worthwhile thing to do. Because you are never going to, you're never going to create a beautiful life that you really love, that you really enjoy. Whatever it is you've got on the outside, you're never going to really enjoy life and, and create something beautiful if your mind is horrible, if your mind is cruel and unkind it's it's not going to happen and I totally speak from personal experience there so as I said the first step here is becoming aware and even getting brave enough to become aware to look at your own mind and to see how it is to notice how it is you speak to yourself and sometimes you know, if you have been on this journey and you you know yeah I've done that our minds can be very very clever they are like naughty little two-year-olds sometimes. They do know how to um, get their own way. They do know what buttons to press. You know, our own minds can be pretty clever. So an honest and non-judgmental look at how you speak to yourself is huge. And that will, every time we do that, that will open open something up. That will expand your mind and and open up some of the, the deeper truth of who you are, open up a space for your wisdom to come through. And I still do this regularly, however many times you do this, when you take an honest and non-judgmental look at what's going on in your own mind, it elevates you, it lifts your level of consciousness, it takes you somewhere else. So that is the first step, becoming aware. And then from that awareness, if you decide, what would you like from your mind? What would you like your mind to be? And this is totally your personal choice. This is, you know, you can use your imagination. You can think about that. You can come up with something that is yours, that suits you. Do you want your mind to be your best friend, your supporter? Your, what is it you want from your mind? And anything that, that is fine. I would strongly advise you to make it be something that is beneficial to you and beneficial to everyone else as well. Don't think of something that will, will turn your mind against another because in on our spiritual journey one of the things we begin to see is that whatever we think about other people comes back on ourselves because truly here there is only one. So think of something, think of what the way that you would want your own mind that is beneficial first and foremost to you, but also doesn't turn against anyone else. So it might be like, 
I want my mind to be my best friend. And just um, become aware of that statement that you make for yourself. Know that that is what you want. And what you will find as you move forward from that knowing of what you want from your own mind, from being willing to take a non-judgmental look and then think about what it is you do want. Those two things coupled together will open your mind still further. And you will notice when your mind starts to be abusive and unkind to you, what will happen is that space that you have opened will open space for your own, for wisdom, for another voice, another option, for you to hear, to see, to sense, to know that there is something else available. And I don't know exactly how that will play out for you, but I have seen it play out too many times to doubt it at all. So if you are prepared to play in this arena and to do this, and then what you will notice is as something else arises in you, that gives you an opportunity to do something, act, to, to be different in the world. And at some point, might be the first time, might be the 50th time, I don't know, but at some point you will find yourself strong enough to do something different, to take different action, to be different. And once you have open that door once you have started down this path you are changing your mind you are beginning to love and cherish and bring your mind into being the asset the true asset that it is for you this is a journey it is a practice it is um, an art to be mastered but it is well worth it and the, the benefits to you, the benefits in your life will be beyond anything you could, you could have ever imagined. So if this video has been useful to you, I, I welcome your comments, I welcome you know, whatever you have to say. If there's a subject you'd like me to make a video about, please do drop it in the comments and um, I will do that if I possibly can. And at the moment I'm doing something called 365 days of cracking creation. So every day we're having a little snippets like this, we're delving deeply into how our minds create, how our thoughts, how who we are create the reality that we live in and how it is, how can we get to create something that we love, create a life that is helpful to us, that we love. It's an amazing program. We're having a ton of fun in there and I would absolutely love you to join us. The link to find out more of that is below this video. So have a wonderful day and I always welcome your comments on the videos and likes and subscribing to my channel. Take care, have a really lovely time and I will see you somewhere soon. Bye for now.